Um, this is referencing number six on the Silver Sphere Lab. If I've got a brick wall, and, I, and you know how thick the whole wall is, let's say this wall is 15 centimeters tall, and I know how tall each brick is. Let's say that these are three centimeters tall. Can you figure out how many bricks there are in the wall? Of course you can. Duh. You're looking at me like I have three heads. So, okay. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Now, what if I have a layer of silver? composed of silver atoms. And I know the thickness of the layer, and I know the diameter of each atom. Can I figure out how many silver atoms thick that is? Yeah, how would I do that? The thickness of the layer, the whole layer, divided by the thickness of each atom. What's going to be your value for the thickness of each atom? You've got three options, radius, diameter, or circumference. What comes closest to being the height of each? The diameter. So the thickness of the layer of silver, which you calculated, divided by the thickness of each atom, the diameter of each atom, is going to give you the number of atoms thick that that layer of silver is. So it's actually really stinking easy, but it, it's very confusing because it's in the midst of all this other math. So... And you're going to have different values based on how much of a layer of silver you ended up with. Some people ended up with a really fat layer of silver. Some people ended up with a relatively thin layer of silver. Um, you should all have a number greater than one, though, um, unless you have a bare bulb. So you should have at least one. Well, you know, how could you? Okay, you could get a number less than one. How would that be? If you had patchy coverage. And so on average, you, you, know, you had spaces where there were zero atoms of silver. You could have a number of less than one silver atom thick, but that would be pretty thin. So, um, And just make sure your units match, and you should get a, a number. Now, is it necessarily going to be a whole number? No, not necessarily, because it's an, it's an average. In some places, that layer might be 20 atoms thick. In some places, it might be 5 atoms thick. So you're going to get an average number, and it will not necessarily be a whole number. Other questions, comments, or concerns on that one? Yes. I can.